What's going on guys? Mitchell Watts, Town & Country TV. Hope you guys are doing well. It is a beautiful day in Alabama in March. Got the short sleeves on and I'm excited that we've got... What is this guy doing? <laughs> <laughs> so as you can probably tell by the title hey, lower of, it down a okay, okay yeah, there we go. <laughs> and, and, can you stand on the pad yeah, over here and get a little perfect. elevation but uh, if you guys haven't been able to tell already we have, are doing a live collaboration video uh, with Southern Comfort Performance uh, and we've also got Bobby Coleman who didn't want to be on live video but I'm gonna force him to be on it anyway but uh, basically what we're doing is they came out uh, to say hi to us uh, he's got his camera rig you want to flash that thing at us I mean that does that not look professional or what so uh, Jordan what's going on man good to have you guys hi from Germany wow that's fantastic awesome so uh, what we're going to be doing is we're gonna be doing a couple of filming here in a second and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pass the the phone over to Josh so that way he can continue the live video so you can kind of see behind the scenes of the collaboration video that we're doing and Murray what's going on man good to hear you good to see you uh, but uh, anyways we uh, wanted to kind of show you this behind the scenes look and once their vlog is actually posted up live uh, we'll make sure that we link that down in the description and then if we can we'll also put that at the end of this video as well so you'll have a direct link to that because these guys are fantastic we love having them so what's up from Baltimore I love it man so I uh, hope you guys are doing well uh, without further ado we'll go ahead and hand the uh, the phone over to uh, mr. Josh Vandenberg there you go Josh all right <laughs> so uh, what's going on man uh... I wasn't prepared for you to ask me that question. I was just gonna film you talking about that Black Widow truck over there. <laughs> then let's go talk about it. Come on. We're do the F two fifty. Yeah, F two fifty. Fantastic. All right. So first off, tell me what your favorite feature is about the F two fifty version of the SCA Performance Four Black Widow. Uh, my favorite feature is it makes me feel more important than I really am. Uh, <laughs> I'm serious, man. When, when you drive this truck, because it's got 37-inch tires on it, and the fact that you can get a truck that's got 37-inch tires, it's got a full factory warranty, um, and you just, you have people, like you can drive a normal F-250, and people look at you like, hey, man, that's a fantastic, it's aluminum truck. When you drive this, you, you literally pull up on the interstate, and you're looking eye-level with 18-wheelers. That's pretty cool. It's, it's pretty awesome for me, too, because... As we mentioned earlier, I'm a little short, so my, my favorite feature is actually the uh, amp tower step. Do you have it unlocked where we can pull uh, those out? I don't out? think it's unlocked. Uh, no. Unprepared. Ah, uh, no. I'm sorry. What a loser. No. No good, but I think that, uh, la, 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 la. no, I don't think it's, uh, I can run inside and get the key here in a minute, but yeah, it's really fantastic because they actually drop down, and what I like about them is they actually tuck away, so that way when you're not using it, it makes the truck look higher up, but if you are vertically challenged, not saying that you are, but maybe, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it's, it's possible. It, it actually drops down a lot lower than like a normal uh, step bar. So yeah, yeah, it, it really, it really does. And I so, mean, I don't have to run to get into these. <laughs> I have to run to get into the other ones. Pole vaulting <laughs> to get into it. Can they build one on F three fifty? Can they build one with an F-350? So, uh, Bobby, uh, our rep, he's actually shaking his head yes. So, that's pretty cool that we can do an F-350 uh, in a Black Widow as well. So, and Josh, I appreciate you asking those questions. So, as you guys are on this live video, leave some comments. Josh will call out some of the best ones, and we'll make sure that we answer those as part of the live video. So, hopefully, you guys like this content, like this style of a video, kind of a behind the scenes, kind of see what's live, and get you guys to have the ability to ask some questions, and we'll answer those for you live as we're on the this video so pretty cool stuff there he's really good at just like talking on the fly i'm really good at bsing apparently <laughs> I, I think that's what he's trying to tell me no no man no i mean it all sounds real legit <laughs> it is legit <laughs> <That's pretty cool. laughs> anyway so uh what what other kind of questions you have um well i mean we did a f-250 walk around the other day so um Maybe we could link that video too. Okay. Um, just so we don't repeat a lot of the same content. But um, I think other key features to note, like you said, not only the 37 inch tires, but the fact that uh, those tires are mounted on SCA exclusive 20 inch oh, wheels. That's a that's a great point. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off there. No, you're totally. But fine. that's what I like about these wheels. You, nobody can just get these wheels. Like they're they're designed in house. They're built exclusively for SCA dealers. 
Um, and, and it's just nice to know that you don't have a set of wheels that every Joe Schmo can put on their vehicle. And I think it looks good too. It, if I had to design a wheel, it would look very similar to that because there's a lot of wheels out there that look really stupid. Some people would probably argue with that, but uh, but, I mean, but if we're just being honest, yeah, I mean it's just, and I know I'm biased because that's what we do for a living. We sell these trucks, but it's a good looking wheel. It really is, and it's crash test rated. I think isn't that what you told me, Bobby? Yeah, crash absolutely. Every, everything on the vehicle, uh, from a suspension standpoint, wheel and tire drivability, it's all FMVSS certified. Yep. So you have nothing to worry about from a safety perspective. And as you mentioned earlier, there's a three-year, 36,000-mile warranty oh, for yeah. everything that we do. So, I mean, you're getting a custom truck with all of the same perks that you get from just buying one factory right That's off the right. lot. That's right. And kind of what I was mentioning a little bit earlier is, it, yes, could you find a lifted truck and get it a little cheaper? Yeah, probably. But as I mentioned before, you get what you pay for. And the warranty and the people that back you, that's what I love about Southern Comfort is they're they are small enough to be able to, to know what it takes to take care of the customer, but they're also big enough to do all the research and development to make their own wheels and tires, uh, not tires, but their own wheels, and they do their own custom front bumpers, which I'm really excited about. I want one of the yeah, very first yeah, ones yeah, on this new too. Super Duty. Yeah. Uh, because we, we've got an F-150 with that new front bumper on it, but I can't wait to see what the Super Duty looks like with it as well. So I, I've seen a couple of of those videos you posted out about doing the cardboard mock-ups yeah, pretty yeah, cool. Yeah. It's it's a very interesting process. Well, I was gonna go check out an Apex. Okay. But since you've got an F-150 Black Widow with the bumper on it, okay. why don't we go check it out? Let's go do it. What kind of questions do you uh while we're walking over there we have another question. Okay. What is the most time consuming modification on a Black Widow F-150? It's probably a question for yeah, you. Yeah that's probably I, a question for me. I would say uh let me turn this off. Uh, the suspension has got to be the most uh, in-depth modification. I mean, because you're talking about a process of probably three or four hours out of a total build of two days. So, but there's a lot of components that go into the complete package. So, you know, you're talking about taking out factory components and replacing them with upgraded, you know, elevated components. So, but. I mean, our guys are the best in the business. You know, and I, you know, our our lift team has actually taught our lift manufacturer things about installing the lifts more efficiently. So if that tells you anything about the caliber of the work that we do, you know, I, I think that speaks for itself. So. And can I interject a second on that? I and because we do so much business with them, when they install the lift kit, they are putting like the bolts in. They're torquing them down to specs, and then they mark the bolts where everything is so that way if a bolt was to move or shift at all they know it and they have that access to be able to see that after the fact i thought that was pretty cool that they actually do that so that way they can track the history of the vehicle and the history of the suspension after the sale as well i thought that yeah. was pretty cool no, that's, that's a great point so here's a question am i also interested in myself when will we have the sca raptor Ooh. that's a question for bobby, bobby. coleman we are um Anticipating they will be here this week. They have not been yet. Be here this week? No, be to us in Trustful this week. So um, we're so, waiting on them to show up. So hurry up, Ford. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that, so what he's saying is, you know, Southern Comfort has got a pool of inventory from Ford Motor Company, and those trucks are actually inbound to Southern Comfort right now. They're actually on a transport carry, I do believe. And as soon as they get dropped off at Southern Comfort, then they're going to do all of their upfits the front bumper, the rear bumper. Uh, they're going to upgrade the wheels, the tires. Uh, and a lot of other things, lights and stuff like that. And uh, so that process will probably take about a week or two weeks. Yeah. Uh, once the truck actually uh, lands at Southern Comfort, it'll be about a week or two weeks before um, you actually see one here. So if the truck gets here today, it'll be a week to two weeks from now. Um, and this is not intended to be a sales pitch, but I think all three of them are still available. So if you want more information, you can uh, call our dealership at 205-491-0000 and uh, we'll kind of get you some more information on on, uh, putting deposits and no we are not asking over sticker on the SCA Raptor I know a lot of people will have that question pop up so no we're not asking over sticker on the SCA Raptor it's a first come first serve basis all right you want to pop over here and let's take a look at that black widow yeah let's do let's it do it
Now, is that the stock? That's a stock wheel on that. Yeah, it is. I'm not sure. Six foot three, six foot four with my heels on. Uh, yeah, they're not heels, but. Look at those kicks. Yeah, I've <laughs> <laughs> you can tell they're a little worn. I need to. So hey, you're, you're working bit. hard. All right. Hard American working. dream. That's right. Roll time. Uh, but uh, you can see Southern Comfort. One of the things I like about this truck is that like it's based off of the XLT. So you get the rebates of an XLT, but you get the luxury of a very, very high-end vehicle. So it's a great way to kind of get the cost associated with it. Uh, this one was actually custom built for us. So this one is the, uh, the black exterior. But one thing you'll love about it is it actually has a matte black uh, fender flare. And so it, it kind of gives you a perfect amount of contrast. I mean, we even paid extra to have these bolts sanded and painted to, to match the rest of the fender flare. The wheels are custom solid black instead of the black with the milled inserts. Uh, it's just really, really cool. And then you also have the, the Gibson exhaust that is also black as well. So pretty cool stuff there. Your shadow is killing the quality of the video. <laughs> so uh, let me see if I can uh, unlock the truck. I'll, I'll be right back. Let me see if I can. Yeah, I'd love to take a look at the interiors on these Black Widows, Mitchell. Apparently, I don't have the passcode for this one either. But I can tell you one thing, uh, that you've got the matte black that we have here. This same matte black uh, is custom painted on the inside. So they actually take all of the interior trim components out, and they can sand them down, and they paint them any color you want. You can get them pink if you want to. I don't recommend it. Uh, but we actually painted the interior components to match the contrast of the matte black, which I think actually looks pretty good when you compare that to the front bumper that once again is also an SEA uh, exclusive. And that I believe is powder coated. Is that right? Uh, it is. It is a uh, 3 16 gauge cold rolled zinc plated steel uh, that they then prime and then it's double powder coated obviously because the finish has to withstand the warranty, right? Can you say that three times fast? I had to say it like a hundred times like before I actually got it down to say it in a video. I have no idea what you said, but it looks amazing and it's it's crash test, crash test rated as well, I believe. Yep, yes. FMVSS yeah. certified. What, uh... Oh, 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 and I'm so sorry to interrupt you guys, but one thing I love about these light bars, yeah, you can find a cheap light bar, but what's gonna happen is you're gonna have warranty issues down the road. And one of the things I like about Southern Cover is they don't cheat or take corners as far as costs go to make more profit for them. They actually step up and pay for the more expensive rigid LED light bar, which I've never had any issues with a rigid LED light bar. I, I don't, I honestly don't know if we've ever had a claim, ever. Really? They have, uh, you guys do a lot of tour years? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's not longer than that. Well, that's gotta that be before we even started yeah. making the bumpers. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, I mean, so. God, that's crazy. What's your, what, what's your favorite feature? Is it the lights or is there a design component that you like the best about the bumper or? Drivability, I love that light bar because you could be driving in the middle of the night, you turn it on and it, you, it driving at home it looks like a completely different road than i drive every single day now it that, just it looks different i don't know if not, you've ever done that but it's weird that's not dot approved i don't know what you're Mitchell. talking about i heard of a guy doing that <laughs> <laughs> i only do it when there's no one else on the road i promise but no it, it, it is amazing how bright that thing is and um i just i'm i'm big loud and obnoxious and i like a truck to match hey there's nothing wrong with being big, loud, and obnoxious. I'm, I'm short, loud, and obnoxious, <laughs> and I, I like a truck to match, too, I, I, I guess. <laughs> Josh, do you, do you have any other uh, questions that popped up? On, uh, you know, a lot of haters blog? about your not, you not knowing the passcode to your trucks. Well, I, I think, yeah, I know. And they I'm want sorry. to see the interior. Well, but. if you guys want to know the actual truth is we actually input a specific passcode on every one of our trucks, and sometimes our PDI process forgets to do that. So it's actually not me not knowing. It's Listen to him blaming it on somebody else. You, see, you hear that? I'm just doing it like this. <laughs> <laughs> so no questions, just haters. That's okay. We can deal with the haters. Uh, you know, we've got a wonderful following on our YouTube channel. Uh, but for the haters, man, you know, I've got really thick skin. So I'm not too worried about it. Um, you were off Friday, Mitchell? Was I off Friday? Yeah. Was I? 
Yes, I was. How did how did Douglas y'all know? Hill came over here and didn't see you. I'm sorry Atlanta. about that. Yeah, I was off on Friday. Oh, is it you said Doug? Yeah. Yes. Hey man, Doug, thank you so much. We appreciate you buying that truck. Hope you enjoy it. Um, in fact, if it's okay with you, leave us a comment. I'd like to feature the picture that Rhino took of you when you took delivery. I meant to reach out to you, but if we can use that on one of our YouTube videos, man, we'd love to. Thank you so much for buying the truck, man. It was a pleasure working with you, even though I didn't get a chance to meet you. So pretty cool stuff there. Um Cool. What other kind of questions do you have? I think I'm good. Actually, this is uh, this has been a ton of fun. Yeah. And I, I appreciate you letting me come out here and do this. Man, my pleasure. I'm sorry we kind of missed there. Kind of like that's a dumb, okay. Dumb, I'm, I'm looking at your hand through the uh, <laughs> through the camera. So man, glad to have you guys. Anytime you guys uh, want anything, man, you guys are like family to us, and especially Bobby. He's a fantastic guy. We jack with him a lot of times, but. I mean, he is one of the reasons that... Uh, you cried? That, I was. <laughs> Why <Yeah>. you cried? <laughs> Why so, you cried, man? <laughs> I know you guys have seen Bobby Coleman before in a couple of our YouTube videos, but um, he is one of the reasons that we love Southern Comfort so much. I mean, it's good products and all, but at the end of the day, we're in the people business. So thank you for all you do, Bobby. Thank you. Uh, all right, enough mushy stuff. <laughs> all right, hold on. Let's get in there for one more selfie. Did you want me to stand up? <laughs> this is, the lighting is terrible here. Bobby, get in there. This is very weird for you, YouTube Live. I you apologize. You need to stand up. You're too short anyway. I'm trying to, there we go. There we go. Yeah, staggered. That's perfect. Does this not look funny? Okay, that's good. Oh, leg day got to me. All right, so I'll come into the live video back. I was about to end it. Okay. Sure. Well, guys, uh, let's see if we can flop the camera back around so we appreciate you watching this very unorthodox youtube live video uh once again we just we love this platform because it gives us the ability to show you guys a behind the scenes look at what we do on a daily basis because yes we are um uh, we are very but we're a Ford dealership. I mean, we're not we're not afraid to admit that, but we truly have a passion driven purpose behind <laughs> we do have a passion behind what our what we do on uh, our vehicle. So uh, one last question. One last question. Someone mentioned what's the typical build time on a Southern Comfort F-150? And it's right at two weeks. So assuming we have the chassis, um, it's two weeks is the average time. Uh, in a rush delivery situation, uh, I could probably talk Bobby into getting it done a little bit quicker, but an average of two weeks and that is assuming we have the chassis so we hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give us a thumbs up check in the link in the descriptions after we close out this live video you'll be able to see the link to their channel he does a fantastic job of it it's a pretty neat little vlog that he does so if you haven't seen that you need to make sure you check that out and if you guys have any questions just leave those in the comments below thanks for watching again town and country tv i'm your host mitchell watts have a great day